So uh, you can send Tomas when you go back. Interesting things. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, Ed. So, all right, Tomas, you are here, and with your cloak wrapped up under your head, you lay before the ancient fireplace. You watch as your friends fall asleep one by one. Finally, sleep's take, sleep takes you as well. You stand before a great pool of water. Before you is an island only 30 yards away. It stands the largest tree you have ever seen. The leaves block the sun. In the opposite shore stands a group of women that appear to be tending the tree. Their green gossamer gowns float gently uh, on, on the breeze. To your left is a boat tied to a small dock, and you make your way to the boat and climb aboard. The boat moves on its own slowly toward the island. The women follow your progress across the pool, and as you approach the shore, the women approach the bank. You step out and stand among the women. They are elves. Many carry ceremonial sickles and many return to cutting mistletoe from the branches of the great tree. Among the elves is a woman of some stature. Her head is adorned with a crown of antlers and she approaches you slowly. Her eyes flash silver light. She stands before you silently. Her hand traces the scar on your face. She smiles at you, then reaches for a bright green leaf on an outstretched branch. She brushes, uh, she crushes the leaf and smears the sap across the scar. She works it into the scar, and pain flares up in your mind, the pain of a goblin spear tip. You cry out in your sleep, and your eyes flutter open. Your hand runs along the scar as the pain fades. You remember the day you received the scar and lay awake for some time before sleep takes you within its dark grasp. Is the scar still there? The star scar is still there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, it, do I recognize anything like a particular religious symbols or anything like that? Or No, 